on my way to T-Mobile right now. I am getting a new phone. I kind of don't want to, but my old phone, which is a Motorola G4, is dying because I use it so much in between YouTube and Instagram and all the other things that I use it for that honestly, it just can't hang. Um, Joseph and Alexis both have Motorola G4s. work just fine so I don't know what the deal is but mine is super bogged down super slow especially when I'm on Instagram a lot or I'm on YouTube a lot so it's time for me to get a new phone so I'm heading to my local T-Mobile the other thing that's going on is that by this time tomorrow we will be in Texas at a wedding it is that time already I can't believe how quickly the past five weeks have flown by but we are so ready and so excited and I would watch you guys but I'm driving um, but we're so excited about the wedding and we can't wait to be in it but that means things are getting really really hectic because Joseph and I did not take today off we both work today and so we've got to come home I'm going to T-Mobile the baby's sick Alexis has a bonfire to go to tonight it's gonna to be a crazy evening oh and we still have to pack because of course we have not packed at all all week long so we're doing it all in one night and hopefully will be in bed by eight o'clock so that we can get a proper night's sleep because our flight is at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. What I was thinking, I have no idea. All right, here I am in T-Mobile. I'm in here by myself. They went to go get the phone, so just wanted to show you what it's like to have a T-Mobile all to yourself. It's fun. That was extremely hectic, which is why I didn't film any of the packing, any of the getting to the airport, or getting through security, because we were running so late, we were up so late. So, based on our experience so far, I have a couple travel tips for you. Number one, start packing a week before you go on your trip, I not the that. night before. I did that. Number two, get to the airport early. Not like one hour, hour and a half. Not one hour before your flight, like us, but like an hour and a half to two hours, so you can be relaxed. Number three, if you're taking a lap baby, make sure you have a copy of their birth certificate, otherwise you will have to buy a ticket. Thankfully, that was the very last thing we did before we left the house, was grab a copy of Reed's birth certificate, so we were good. Number four, what was the fourth thing? There was a fourth thing, get TSA pre-check. Oh my God, the lines were so long. Oh, we still be in that line yeah. TSA pre-check totally, or better yet, get, oh my God, what's that Global other? Global entry. Global entry. So that really only matters if you're traveling internationally. But yeah, if you're ever gonna travel internationally. And since they last for like five years, and global entry is only like $10 more. It's kind of worth it. So. Come on in, ladies and gentlemen. We have a full flight today. Oh, we have a baby. We won't fly. Don't be seen. We're going to Dallas. Help you pick that favorite seat quickly, fill those items exclusively at the center aisle. Allow the person behind you to continue to score. What are you doing? Large roller bags, so you overhead this, pull this first, get those out. Yeah, right. Reeve says, yeah, right. Because 
can't afford. And away they go. Tasha was hoping to get some riding done on the plane. Yeah, right. No pun intended. Or sleeping. Sleeping would be nice. I look so tired. I don't have any makeup on because I don't wear makeup when I travel. I don't put my makeup on when I get where I'm going. I never wear makeup. Men are not. I always look tired because I am. We're running on four hours of sleep. She has four hours and five minutes because she napped for it. <laughs> that doesn't even show. Not really. I'm worried about the background. Hey guys, I am in a, what do you call this, a cockpit, is that what you call this? Look at all these buttons, and machines, and, and numbers. Oh my goodness. I am sitting right where a pilot sits, this is so cool. <laughs> if only, if only I knew how to fly this, this would be so cool. There's so many buttons. with the pilot and he's pretty cool. He explains stuff to me and you know how international flights work and stuff. I mean seriously, look. Just, just, just look at all these buttons. I mean it's so cool. How can you see through this window? Oh my god. We just landed in love it. So we're back in my hometown. I haven't been here in four years. Four years. He's like these are the best windows ever. Come on, Reeves. We <laughs> Travel is not always uh, awesome or easy. 